Good morning everybody. So today I am going by bus from Nonny Tree up to Battenbang. So Nonny Tree is in Siemri and I'm doing about, it's about a four hour bus ride to Battenbang and I can't remember the name of my new hostel so I will write it in here. I'm being picked up at 9.30 which is any moment now and headed to the bus station. This is the bus station where you get dropped off in Battenbang. It is a hive of activity. There are so many tuk-tuk drivers waiting when you get off the bus. And the bus station is actually across the road from a car park. And there are lots of like little stalls and shops all the way round. When I first arrived here, it was raining and I was literally in a haze with everybody saying tuk tuk man, tuk tuk man. So what I've done is I've left it a few days and then walked back and I thought what I would do is I would walk you from the bus station back to where the hostel is that I'm staying. But there was actually three hostels that I was thinking about staying. So on the walk back, I will show you the other two as well but it's literally only about a 10 minute walk from the bus station to where I was staying. So when you come out of the bus station, you want to turn left, left again, and then right. The first thing that struck me when I arrived in Battenbang is the simple fact that the roads are not finished. So these are some of the bigger roads and they've got a bit of tarmac on them but not too much, but some of the back roads are still dirt. Down as far as Bridgestone, and then left again. And that will take you up to the main roads. They've got construction going on at the moment. So that road ahead is the main road. There you go, once you've reached the main road, you'll have a blue building in front of you. And then you need to take a right and this is the main road headed all the way up to the market on your left hand side there will be a 7-eleven and it looks like a nice bakery there should we go and have a look oh wow These look amazing and I haven't had breakfast yet this morning either. I was very naughty. I bought a bun. It's like a sausage wrapped in bread. My first impressions of Bat and Bang is the fact that it reminds me a little bit of Lao when I went with the partially made roads. Here is the local supermarket. I think we should go and have a little look around. Outside there's lots of different ATMs. The air conditioning is amazing when you walk in off of the street from the humidity. HP sauce, A1 sauce, ketchup, they've even got Heinz. All your shampoos and conditioners, ones that you can find in the UK as well, and pretty much all over the world. There is a whole array of different coffees down here as well. A lot of them do the three-in-one mixes as well, but you can buy just plain Nest Cafe. If you're craving your normal 
breakfast cereals. They've got cornflakes, cocoa pops, frosties, everything you could possibly want really. Don't look. I'm not saying that I like chocolate biscuits or anything. <laughs> Arrive in Bat and Bang and forget your toothbrush. No problem. Toothpicks, toothpaste, mouthwash. If you're traveling with little ones, they've got everything here. I have no idea what the prices for baby things are right now, but it's all here. The fresh produce, meat, fish. Super. And look at the size of those apples. 7-Eleven. The same as the supermarket. They've got all your toiletries here. Ice creams, washing liquid, snacks, water, Pringles, and they've got beers, but unlike Thailand, I think you can buy them whatever time. They also do drinks. And probably what they're famous for is their sandwiches. <laughs> Leaving 7-Eleven behind and walking back up the street. There's a lot of construction going on at the moment, sorting out the roads, but I hope it doesn't lose its charm when that happens and this is a chain of shops if you can hear me that is with the road behind me with clothes and shoes although as a westerner you do tend to struggle a little bit with the sizes because you go in and you think you're in the children's section and they go no this is adults <laughs> i'm still walking up the road from the bus station and there is the 7-Eleven that we've just passed. There's also a tube coffee, which I've seen in a few places. And we're continuing straight up here. Okay, for reference, this is the price of the fuel. And we are now in the end of July, 2024. I passed this place on the way up and actually it looks like really cheap. So for $3, you can get the breakfast special might actually just pop in and grab a quick coffee while I'm passing. As normal, they bring you the iced tea to start with. And then they came round and turned my own little personal fan on. I am so hot walking up that road. My first impression of Baton Bank is really good. It's a lot quieter than CM Reap, but it's got a really nice feel about it. It's a shame I'm not here for a bit longer, but I am only here for a couple of nights. But hopefully one day I will return. If you come to Baton Bang, definitely try out this little coffee shop. The coffee is really good. That was really nice. And when you reach the coffee shop, you need to take a right. The buildings here have got so much character. And from this road, it's straight down towards the market. So this is the first hostel that I was going to book. And I can't actually remember why I didn't, but it has a rooftop bar. And actually it looks really nice inside.
So just continuing up this road. And very shortly we will come to the market. Once you reach the market, walk straight past it and take the first turning on the left. This is a real local market. I've just walked past the market until I got to the smart shop and here I'm going to take a left. And then it's the first turning on your right. I hope you're following these directions. <laughs> and my hostel is just down here. So as you can see, once you get off of the main street, the roads are pretty much unmade. You can just see my hostel here, which is called POM. And before I give you a room tour of my hostel, I'm just gonna walk a few hundred yards past it it's called the real place and this is the other hostel that I was looking at and again there's no particular reason why I didn't book it I just chose POM So these are the little pods. On this side, you've got the fan rooms. And through here is the air conditioning. They've got a air conditioner up there and they pipe it into each pod. And mine is down here, number six. And this is my little pod in Pom. Hello! So I've got a single bed which is really comfy and the pillow is really soft as well. There's a lovely mural and if you can hear me because I've got the fan going because it's really hot. So the fan points straight down onto the bed but this room also has air conditioning. See this little hole here? it's connected to a little system that they've set up so that they can pipe cold air into the rooms. My bags, and there's plenty of room, you probably can't see, but there's plenty of room under the bed. And there are the house rules and different tools that they do. The only thing that could be improved is there's only one hook. So it would be nice to have another hook because obviously your towels aren't going to dry very well being one on top of the other so an extra hook would be good. I hope you enjoyed this quick tour of Bat and Bang on how to get there and what there is in the local town because I had a fabulous time and my hostel was amazing and the people were great so next time I will take you with me on the tour that I did while I was here. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, hit the bell, hit the subscribe and follow Nan with the backpack and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!